Welcome back people to another video in this video we're going to be talking about changing the footer because I know you guys are going to ask how to do it for the minimal theme I already got a few comments on that anyway but um yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to make the um the, change the theme real quick let me let me delete these files real quick because they are irrelevant um so what we're doing right now we're in the uh, uh Shopify store we're gonna go down to online store we're gonna try to make this video quick so you guys can get in and get out and get working on your stuff. So minimal is our published theme already. So it's live. It's the live theme for us currently. We're going to go under actions and then edit code. Boom. Don't worry about that. Okay. So from this step, you're going to close your templates and you're going to add a new asset. I already have my asset and I'm going to use my banana file again. You're gonna click add a new asset under the asset folder and then choose and then you'll just pick whatever file you want to use and then upload asset i already have mine uploaded it's going to be this banana one i used this in a previous video but um yeah from here on uh theme.scss.liquid is the folder we need so you would just come over here right here click it under the assets folder and and here we're not going to a specific spot well, yes, we are. We're going straight to the bottom, people. So I already have this code in from another video. I'm just going to delete it because it's not necessary to have. Oh, you know what? I did like that background, so I'm going to keep it in there. But, um, yeah, we're just going to add the code. So this is the code. It should be in the description just like all my other videos. The code should be down below, people. So let's see. We're going to copy it in right below, right at the end. So Shopify section footer and if you're on desktop, this shouldn't bother, this shouldn't mess up your video. It might mess it up if you're on a uh, mobile, but I'll do it in both. So we're seeing it like this. Burger is the file extension that is placed in here, but we don't have that under our assets. Under our assets, we have banana. Yours might be underscore blah, 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 all this other stuff. But mine is banana dot JPEG. So that's what I'm typing in. And then once that's typed in, we're going to click save. And we're going to scroll out. So if you're on mobile, all we did was paste in the code. And then we came within these quotes and made our file the same as this. Whatever file we uploaded, we made it the same here. And from here, we saved it already. We're gonna refresh. In the bottom, the footer should be bananas. And that's, it is, it's bananas now. And that's pretty much it for this. But if you have a website like Pexels that I used in a re like other videos, if you're getting an image from Pexels and you want to add that to the bottom, all you would do is click on the image you want to use, then right click it, then click copy image address. Click that, boom, come back to the code and change this. Well, first, delete this section. Delete that. So it should just be the file name. No more asset URL and that bar that was there should be gone. So if you can't see on desktop, I'm gonna zoom in. Boom, that's what it should look like. So let me zoom back to 100%. And then you're gonna go within the quotes and paste your URL from that website. Paste it, then save, and you're all done. Simple. Come back here to the website, refresh it, and now you see the different background. Now, the only thing is you want to have an image that fits these measurements. This image is really big, so that's why it looks all weird. I'm sure if I take the cover or if I if I put some extra code like this, if I put this down here, it might make it look better. Um, I should be able to change the size with this. Let's make the width. I 
Let's make the width 1000. And make the height, let's say 400. I don't think that would change it. All right, so we're gonna change this from 1,000 to like 1,400. Let's try that. We're gonna click Save, and then we're gonna come back here and refresh, and it might make the picture look better. Uh, it shows up a bit more. But um, yeah, you can just mess around with that. Uh, if you're on desktop and you're wondering what the heck did I just do, all I did was come to this section where it has H equals and W equals. Those are the height and width of the image that you're copying. You can just mess around with that if you want, or you can use some websites that allow you to resize your image, and you can do it that way too. But that's it for this video. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe for more free Shopify theme um, code tutorials. And I appreciate you for watching this video, people. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.